Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are still going through the grade 12 mathematics literacy paper one that was written in November 2021. In this video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question 4.2. And in question 4.2, guys, we are going to be using this formula that is given to us to calculate the variable P, which is the number of plates that genet cells we are going to be using table six to draw a line graph and with that line graph we are basically going to perform a break even analysis to determine how many plates does genet need to sell to make a profit so if you know that these concepts are concepts that you struggle with please make sure that you watch this entire video tutorial please make sure that you click on um that subscribe button please make sure that that you uh, click on that notification bell so that you do not miss a single video tutorial when it drops and also please make sure that you share this video tutorial with your friends so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial <music> Right, guys, so question 4.2 it says that Bobby got the idea of selling biryani from his niece Jeanette, who has her own takeaway business in South Africa. Jeanette's variable cost to make one plate of biryani is 13 Rand, and her fixed costs amount to 600 Rand. We need to use this information that is given to us above to answer the questions that follow. All right right so in question 4.2.1 right. it says that Jeanette uses the equation below to calculate her total costs right so the equation that is given to us right this is the equation that is given to us and this equation basically tells us that the total cost is equal to 600 rand plus 13 p right and we are told that this p is the number of plates right so we need to use this equation to determine the number of plates sold if the total cost was 1380 uh, rand so here guys this is a nice and simple uh question this is easy marks right so what we need to do is we basically need to use this equation that is given to us right and to basically determine the number of plates that have been sold if the total cost is 1380 rand right so all we need to do take this equation substitute the values that we have been given and we need to determine the unknown uh, variables right so what is the unknown variable what are we um trying to solve for in this equation right in this equation we want to determine what the number of plates sold if the total cost is equal to 1380 right so we want to determine p we want to find out what the p is and we are told that the total cost right is equal to 1380 rand okay right so all we need to do is we need to substitute this total cost into our formula and solve for p so let's do that okay we know that our total cost is 1380 rand which is equal to 600 plus 13 and we are want to determine our p or the number of plates that have been sold right so what do we need to do we need to basically make this p the subject of the formula or in other words we need to basically have this p on its own right so how do we do that we're going to take that 1380 minus 600 rand which is equal to 13 p right if you punch that into your calculator 1380 minus 600 gives us 780 okay all right which is equal to 13 p and if you basically divide by 13 and you divide by 13 what happens okay i'll just write this here you've got 780 which is equal to 13 p so if you basically divide by this uh, 13 on the left uh, on the right hand side and you divide by 13 on the right hand side you'll find that 
okay the 13 and the 13 cancel and you'll be left with a p is equal to 780 divided by 13 is equal to 60 plates right so we can see that right the number of plates sold if the cost price was 1380 is equal to 60 plates right so p is equal to 60 plates next question question 4.2.2 right table six below shows janet's uh, total cost and income from selling different number of plates of biryani right so we've got table six here and table six uh basically shows um the income and the total cost of selling the different number of plates of biryani so if she sells zero plates of biryani she makes zero income and the cost um that it take well the cost of making those plates is obviously a uh, 600 rand right if she um sells 10 plates right the income that she makes is 250 rand and the cost um and the cost of basically making those plates is 700 and 30 rand and so on and so forth we are told that the income graph has already been drawn on the attached uh answer sheets use table six and the same and the same grid on the answer sheet to draw another line graph representing the cost of different number of plates of biryani right so we basically need to draw another uh, another line graph on the same set of axes that represents the cost of different um number of plates of biryani let's just have a look at this line graph that has basically uh, been given to us right so this is the line graph that has been given to us right on the answer sheet and this line graph basically says that it's Jeanette's business graph for plates of biryani right so on the hot vertical um axes or the y axis we've got the amount in rands and on the x axis or on the horizontal axis we've got the number of plates of biryani um that have been sold right so we are told to basically use this same set of axes right to basically draw another line graph that represents the cost of different number of plates of biryani right so already here we've got on this um, line graph the cost or the income that um Jeanette makes from selling her plates so we've got that um already drawn here on uh, this um set of axes we've got a line graph that represents the income that um Jeanette makes from selling the biryani so now all we need to do we need to draw a line graph that basically represents the cost um of basically making the plates of biryani okay so that's what we're going to do so what we're going to do we already know that on the x axis it's the number of plates and on the y axis it is the amount in rand so we're also going to have the cost um of the plates of biryani on the y axis so let's do that okay so we're going to focus on right this row here that tells us about the cost and we're going to focus on this row here that tells us about the number of plates that have been sold right so for zero um plates sold right what is the total cost it is 600 rand so so for zero plates um sold what is the cost it is 600 so if this is 500 so it's six seven eight nine let's see so it's six seven eight nine okay so what is going to happen here because we see that that is 500 there right so that is going to be the 600 there right that is going to be 600 there i skip one and that'll be 600 i skip one that'll be 700 i skip one that'll be 800 i skip one that'll be 900 I skip one and that will be 1000 so this basically increases by 50 so 550 600 650 700 750 800 850 900 950 1000 right so this um axis the vertical axis basically increases by 50 right so if we sell zero plates the cost is going to be 600 okay 
So our 600 is there, right? So if it's zero, it's going to be 600. I'm going to make it in red so that we see, and I'm going to put a dot there. We're going to go back, right? If we sell 10 plates, we um it, if 10 plates are sold the cost is 730 okay so if this is 600 then this is 700 right 700 is somewhere there right so 730 is going to be in between there somewhere so i'm just going to approximate so if this is 700 this is 750 there so 730 is somewhere there right and i just want to basically extrapolate so you can basically use a ruler right so you draw basically a ruler from that point there and you go to number 10 right so that is 10 there and you're gonna uh, increase it like that there so we see that okay it's that point there right right okay okay it's that point there 10 is that point there somewhere there right and then we go back again okay okay so if you sell 30 plates right Right, the cost is 990 so if 30 plates are sold right the cost is 990 right so i already know that this is okay i'm just gonna do that there this is 700 this is 800 and this is 900 so 990 is somewhere there right so i'm just gonna extrapolate guys please take note the yellow lines i'm just showing you how you basically um can basically make sure that you are being accurate when you're drawing this line graph so i'm just going to use a yellow line to just show you how we basically um get to the point that we want right so if you basically selling 30 um if 30 plates are sold the cost is 990 okay 30 plates are sold the cost is 990 so if you connect these two lines together we see that the point that we want is somewhere there all right next one if you sell 50 plates the cost is 1250 right so if you sell 50 plates right so i'm gonna take it up there 50 plates right the cost is going to be 1250 so let's figure out where 1250 is so if that's 1000 1050 1100 is there right so that is 1050 1100 is there 1050 1100 1150 1200 1250 okay so that is 1250 there okay and we know that if the cost is 1250 we have basically sold a uh, 50 plates right so i'm just gonna extend the lines there so we see that where these two um, so that we basically see where these two lines meet if i extend that there to that 50 right we see that these two lines meet here i'm gonna do that in blue i'm gonna do these in blue okay they meet there secondly let's go back again if you sell 70 plates right the cost is 1510 okay 70 plates right the cost is 1510 right so we already know that that is 1500 right 1550 is here right is there okay i'm just gonna mark it there 1550 is there so that means that 1510 is like somewhere there right so i'm just gonna draw a line again where i extend from that point to our 70 which is there and i draw another point there right and so on and so forth right so i'm just gonna continue um drawing or uh, plotting my points and then we are going to continue from there all right so basically i've plotted all um the points for the number of plates as well as um the cost of those plates on our line graph please note that the yellow lines are just lines that i've just drawn to basically help me um ensure that um, my points are basically accurate and everything is um straight okay so now let's just connect all these points i'm going to connect these points using a green line all right so when i connect all these points that is basically um what i get right so what i've done here we have basically um now used this table six and the same grid that has been provided to us on the answer sheet and we've drawn another line graph that represents the cost of the different number of plates of brownie please note this is just for three marks and we have done that okay 
please don't forget to basically okay indicate that this is the cost right right and then we are done next question question 4.2.3 uh, it says that we need to determine the minimum number of plates of biryani the Jeanette must sell before she starts making a profit right so what we need to basically realize in this question is that we are being uh, assessed on uh, the knowledge that we have when it comes to break even analysis right please remember break even a uh, break even analysis is a graphical technique that is used by a business to determine at which point a business makes a profit right so it's a technique that is used a graphical technique that is used by a business to determine at which point a business makes a profit right we basically now need to now ref uh, refresh our memory right and remember that when we basically go back to this line graph that we have basically drawn what do we realize we realize that we have a point where these two graphs intersect each other right at that point here we have the line graph that represents the cost of the plates and we've got the line graph that re uh, represents the income right and these two line graphs basically intersect each other right and then what do we know up from a break break even analysis unit we know that at this point this point is basically called the break even point okay and basically from what we learned in our unit where we discuss break and even analysis we learned that at the break even point okay this point basically tells us that we basically oh Jeanette's business needs to sell 50 plates before it starts to make a profit so that point basically tells us how many items the business needs to sell to make a profit right um and in this case how many plates of biryani Jeanette needs to sell to make a profit right so we need to remember break even analysis is a graphical technique because we're using a line graph right to determine at which point a business makes a, a profit so it's a graphical technique that we use uh to determine which point um to determine at which point a business needs to make a profit and in this case we realize that for Jeanette to make a profit she basically needs to sell 50 plates of biryani because we see that the income line graph as well as well as the cost line graph intersect at the point where um the number of plates that need to be sold are 50 right so determine the minimum number of plates of biryani the Jeanette must sell before she starts making a profit and from the graph we see that Jeanette basically needs to sell 50 plates before she can make a profit all right and that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial it is nice and short and sweet right in the next video tutorial guys we will be tackling question 4.3 so please make sure that you have clicked on that notification bell that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Thank you.